All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to the replay, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and swipe to the right for Apple and from the bottom to the top for Android, all right? And go ahead and hit the screen for hearts, all right? Go ahead and hit the screen for hearts. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning. It's time to make a choice, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going into a new year. It's time to make a choice. This day, who shall you serve? Thank you for being here, Sister Denise. Assalamu alaikum. Go ahead and hit the hearts. Go ahead and share, Sister Candace. Welcome. Let's share it, you guys. Let's share. I need for you guys to share these streams more. I need for you to share these streams more. I appreciate you being here, but now it's time to go after our friends and family and whoever else. All right? So welcome, welcome. Thanks for sharing, Sister Candace. Thank you very much. Share, share, share. Thank you for sharing, Sister Denise, as always. Thank you guys for your support. We're building up to 2016, and this is part of the build-up. You want to increase uh, your activity. Increase your activity. Okay. All right. Looks like it's one minute after, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get this party started. All right. Good morning at... Good morning at Meerkat and... Where are you at? Where are you at, Periscope? Where are you at? There's my there's my board. All right, all right. Good morning, good morning. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three. Can you guys hear me? All right, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Daryl Muhammad here. Real estate investor, mentor, coach, trainer, online, offline, sales and marketing. Entrepreneur. Thank you, Sister Candice. Thank you very much. But what city are you from? Shout outs to everybody. What city are you dialing in from this morning? You can be anywhere in the world. You know what this, uh, this internet stuff, ladies and gentlemen, you can be anywhere in the world. So, so welcome, welcome, welcome. We're talking about the money game. As always, I want to cover a little housekeeping items. To reach me, here's how you can reach me on Periscope and Twitter. If you can see that on, on Meerkat, welcome Meerkat. Let's go ahead and restream it, would you please? Restream it at Meerkat and share it on Periscope. Periscope and Twitter is at Daryl Muhammad. At Daryl Muhammad. That's how you can reach me, okay? All right. I want to encourage everybody to get in contact with me. Let's connect. Go to DarylMuhammad.net. Go to DarylMuhammad.net. You'll find a lot of good stuff there, a lot of things we've done in the past. Some unannounced content will be there as well, as well as getting on the list. So make sure you subscribe once you go to DarylMuhammad.net. So that way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can be aware of private events. We're going to start having some private webinars just for you guys. Hey, Victor, uh, virtuous woman. Uh, so yeah, definitely make sure you go to this website right now or after this live stream. Go here and and subscribe so you can be made aware of the Private, private, private webinars. All right. So excited, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you're getting ready, brothers and sisters, for 2016. Now is the time to put the pieces in place. Not study, not read, not contemplate, but actually put them in place. All right. I mean, I'm excited today. I just went to the mailbox. I was waiting for a package, uh, and I was anticipating it so much. I called the office yesterday. And they gave me a tracking number. I was calling the office to see if it was back ordered or what, you know, because we got less than 30 days, less than 30 days before we get to 2016. All right. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, it's not how you start the race is how you finish. All right. It's how you finish. A lot of us start off at a disadvantage, but it's how you finish. So I called the office. I found out if it was on back order. I said, no. Uh, Daryl, we shipped it out. Here's your tracking number. I tracked it. I said it was in Dallas yesterday. I said, okay, well, Dallas is only four hours away. It should get here in Houston, you know, to this morning, six o'clock. So I checked this morning when I got up, and sure enough, it's it out for delivery. So I went out to the mailbox earlier. No package. Then I heard a truck pass by. Ran outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have this childlike uh, spirit, ladies and gentlemen. I ran outside, and sure enough, the mail truck was going down the, down the street. So, man, I ran and got it and opened up my box, and guess what it was? Bam! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The 10X Planner. The 10X Planner. 
I'll be doing some, uh, you know, live streams and I'll share with you how this thing works. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to show you one thing about this live stream is real, is real reality, right? Is real reality. And you see, I'm not just teaching it because you have those that teach it and don't do it. They want you to do it. But I'm investing in myself. I'm investing and in getting ready for 2016. If you go to DarylMuhammad.net, ladies and gentlemen, you'll see that we posted up the 13-day free boot camp that we did. We're going to start posting up these uh, uh, these money, uh, the money game live stream that you're watching right here. So make sure you stay tuned, all right? Make sure you stay tuned. And that, when you go to the website, make sure you click on more reading lists and you add this to your library. You add this to your library, all right? So housekeeping's out the way, ladies and gentlemen. We're excited to share just with... You know, some of the information that I have that I've learned over the last, I don't know, 30 years, I guess, has been. 80, the early 80s. Yeah, 30, 35 years. That seems like a long time. That's a whole generation. Uh, but I just want to help, brothers and sisters. I just want to help. I just want to help. I just want history to say that I did my best to help others, uh, help others out, right? That's what we want. What would, you, what would the history say about you? What side of history will you fall on, all right? So that's what I want to do, and I want to share this with you, and I just pray to God that you take it and you use it immediately. There's a law called the law of use, the law of use. And uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan taught us that law of use. If you're not using it or if you're abusing it, then God will take that away from you and give it to someone else who will properly use that information, that gift. So I just want to give you a gift and I want to keep on giving. So we're talking about the money game. The money game, ladies and gentlemen, we have to learn how to play the money game or else, right? Or else. Justice or else. Economic justice or else. Learn the money game, how to win the money game or else, brothers and sisters, or else. Or else, all right? And, you know, too much is given, much is required, the Bible says. And it says, greater is a man who have sinned and known he has sinned than a man who have sinned and known not. So once we know this information, it's a greater sin if we do nothing with it, right? If we do nothing with it. So this morning, we want to talk about very quickly for about 20 minutes and then we'll open up for questions at the end. Feel free, brothers and sisters, to hit the hearts, hit the screen for hearts and share it. Please share it, all right? Don't come by yourself, right? That is selfish. It's hard to build wealth when we're selfish, right? It's easier to build wealth when we share and we give and we're extending out, reaching for other people, all right? Reaching for opportunity. That's the only way things can come to us and we can build Wealth, brothers and sisters, all right? So just know that everything that you and I do is an expression, right? It's an expression of what we believe. So the money game today, the number one rule or rule number one to the money game, ladies and gentlemen, right? And this is going to be hard for a lot of us because uh, we weren't taught this. Uh, society doesn't teach it, doesn't reinforce it. But we're adults now, right? We have to take... Uh, some personal responsibility. We're adults now, so we're talking about rule number one. You know, we want to get into these techniques and these strategies and these, you know, kept secrets. And many times, you know, secrets are right there in your face, right? Just like you drive up and down your street every day, ladies and gentlemen, opportunities are right there in your face. But because we have not been trained, our mind's eye, as it's called, our mind's eye have not been trained to recognize the opportunity. Let me see if we can get a little better. Get a little better love for the meerkatters here. A little better view. So, so what we want to do is to let you know what the number one, the number one rule in the money game. The number one rule in the money game. Now get ready. Hopefully you have your notepads. I got my notes with me. Hopefully you got your notepad and ready to write this down. And I need somebody... One of uh, one of the A students, I need for you to type right down there some notes here, all right? So 
Here is the number one rule, and we're going to expound on number one rule to the money game, ladies and gentlemen. And we all have to do this. No one's in ex is exempt. All right, no one is exempt. The number one rule is we have to take financial responsibility, not just responsibility, because we do take responsibility in some areas of our lives, and we don't take responsibility in other areas of our life. Right. So we have to take. Hey, Miss Realtor. Rule number one, take financial responsibility. Thank you, Sister Candace. Take financial responsibility, financial responsibility, everything, anything. And I did get your message, uh, Atlanta Realtor. And I'm sorry I didn't get back with you. I'll get back with you right after the live stream. OK, I'm going to uh, send you or probably text you the criteria uh, of the multifamilies that I'm looking for. Only looking for multifamilies. OK, so. Take financial responsibility. That's what we all have to do, ladies and gentlemen. I know we, we, we grew up probably not like in math, not like in algebra. You know, we have this, 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 this unhealthy relationship when it comes to money. And that's part of our problem. So we have to make sure that we change our paradigm, change our thinking. Allow no negative thoughts to be attached to money from the outside, but most importantly from the inside. So we have to take financial uh, financial responsibility. You are responsible. I am responsible for my own financial situation. You can blame some people. Can't pay bills with your blame. But you can pay bills by taking responsibility, right? You can realize an unbelievable life by taking financial responsibility. Not by blaming people, right? Not by blaming people, ladies and gentlemen. Take financial responsibility. You have to take financial responsibility for every area of your life. And there's three areas of your life that you need to take financial responsibility. These are the basic three. There's others, but these are the basic three that you have to take financial responsibility over. You have to be the Lord over these things. You are the God over these things. Matter of fact, God gave it to you so you can reign domain, dominion, I should say, over these three areas that you and I must reign supreme over. And it doesn't matter how much money you have. Get out of this, 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 this prison of how much? The Bible says, if you become steward over little things, I'll make you master over much. So God gives us all a little to test and try us to see are we qualified for the much. So number one, the number one thing, and I'm going to write it down, that we have to take financial responsibility over. We have to be the God over. All right. We have to be the God over. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Is your income, is your income, how much money is coming in? You have to take responsibility for that. It does, it, stop saying I don't have education. Stop saying I don't have time. Stop saying I don't have training. Right? We have to take financial responsibility over the most important thing, and that's income. Income, ladies and gentlemen, income. There is no limit to income. Income. And it has nothing to do with your education. It has nothing to do with your credit. It has nothing to do with nothing else other than you and I taking financial responsibility over our income. And looking for ways to maximize our time, our effort. All right? I'm telling you now. Going back to school, I mean, that takes time. That takes a lot of time. That's what everybody else is doing. You're just, you're just getting in line, right? I'm talking to those that are entrepreneurs, those that are salespeople, those that are self-employed, those that are entrepreneurs, right? Entrepreneurs, we don't think linear. Talked about that yesterday. We don't think linear, right? We don't think like the masses of the people. And if we do, then we need to stop doing it. Right? You can't go in the opposite direction going in the same direction of everybody else. We don't want to be sheeple, right? People who are like sheep, easily led in the wrong direction, hard to lead in the right direction. Those are what you call sheeple. 
People who act like sheep, led to the slaughter on their own will. They're not forced to the slaughter. They just, they're led to the slaughter. They just follow the leader blindly, led to the slaughter, right? So financial responsibility is rule number one. In that area of financial responsibility, you like that? Got it from somebody else. Got it from uh, Jeffrey Combs, I think it was. All right. Uh, so income, brothers and sisters, income, right? Income. And we want to shift uh, our income from linear time for money to just effort to money. Time to money to effort. Meaning for, meaning for you put forth effort, um, put forth effort that produces passive or residual income. All right. So responsibility number one, financial responsibility number one is your income, is your income. Brothers and sisters, you can't save what you don't make. I'm in agreement with, with, with Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone says your spending problem is not a problem. Your expenses is not a problem. What your problem is, is your income is not high enough. You know, your income is not high enough. The problem is our income is not high enough. You know, if, if, if I had to save, I'm 51 years old by God's grace, and if I had to save $5,000 a month to meet my retirement target for in 20 years, right? I can't save $5,000 a month unless I make, exceed $5,000 a month because I have to be able to eat and live, right? So let's focus on income first. Income first, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, in Come first, right? Don't be a slave to income. Don't make in income your God. Just understand the priorities. That's why on an income statement, it's called income statement. It's not called expense statement. It's called income statement. And the first thing at the top of the income statement is what? Income. Income. The, see, what it looks like for most people, let me just show you real quick. I, didn't, I wasn't planning on saying this. So... You have the income statement that looks like this, right? It's kind of like this. I should have done it the other way. Linear. Let's see. Okay. Income is at the top of your income statement, and then expenses is at the bottom, right? Let me try it again. That's not... All right. Anyway, three times the charm. Income is at the top and expenses, all right? This is how it looks, all right? Pay attention. Work with me. Pay attention. All right. This is how income statement looks. This is your income. This is your expense. Right, brothers and sisters? All right. Income statement, income, expense. Right? Income, sources of income, expenses. See, it's only two lines. Most of us only have one line of income and all these lines for expenses. One line for income, all these lines for expenses. Right? Now, we want to flip that thing around. Financial responsibility. We're talking about income number one. I didn't have, I didn't plan on saying this, but God gave it to me to say, so I'm going to say it. So here's what we want it to look like. And this would, Grant Cardone means that you don't have an income problem. I mean, you don't have an expense problem, you have an income problem. Now, this is what we want to shoot for right here. Income, multiple streams of income. Expenses, just a few. Can you imagine what your life will look like? And of course, it's relative terms. How much is it compared to how much is it? Just stop being a contrarian. Just go along with me and then you adjust it. Just understand, we want to go from here, just one, maybe two incomes and all these expenses to a whole bunch of income and lesser expenses. You want your income to have more income streams than outgo streams. All right? So, didn't mean to say that, but... That's what we said. So number one, income. Number two is expense. We just kind of covered that right quick. Expense. How do you spell expense? P-E-N-C. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for following Mini NP. Mini NP over there at uh, Meerkat. Go ahead and share it. Restream it, please. Restream it. Restream it. Okay. All right. So financial responsibility is rule number one of the money game. You have to take 
full responsibility. Not you and your husband, not you and your spouse, not you and your boo, not you and your significant other, not you and your sidekick, side chick, whatever you want to call it. It's you. You. God gave you the money. God gave you the job to go out and get, or bay, is that what they, they call it? I don't know about no bay. Anyway, so he gave you the job, he gave you the energy, he gave you the, the time to go out and make the money, right? So your responsibility to him and what he has given you. So responsibility number two is expenses, all right? What do your expenses look like? We talked about just a few seconds ago, you want long, you want few expenses and a lot of income. But look at your expenses. Yesterday we talked about two types of expenses. What? Living expenses and lifestyle expenses. Living expenses, lifestyle expenses, right? So take responsibility, financial responsibility for your money. Financial responsibility is rule number one to the money game. If we don't lock that down, then we're going to be losing, right? Every, every game we make, we're going to lose because we're not taking full responsibilities and our actions are not reflecting it. Our actions have to show that we're taking full responsibility, right? When I bought this, I took full responsibility that I was going to spend $25 on this planner. I took full financial responsibility, right, for this planner, to spend money on this planner. Full responsibility, right? I didn't do it because of someone else. I did not do it because of someone else. I did it because of me. I took full responsibility. I'm going to get that planner because that's a piece to the puzzle, right? When it comes to life and financial empowerment and the money game, it, it's, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll talk about that on another stream. Run out of time. So number two is expenses, right? Number two is expenses. Then after that, it's, 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 it's cash flow, right? Cash flow, cash flow. Now, if you don't know what that means, it means several things. But what I mean, it means surplus, extra, right? You save, you invest, right? You take advantage of opportunity, financial opportunities with cash flow, which is surplus. All right? Cash flow surplus is what you have left over after your expenses. Income minus expenses. What you have left is cash flow. Cash flow. That can go towards your lifestyle, right? Right? Your lifestyle expense should not be included at the top. Right? Should not be part of your expenses when you're doing when you're doing your math for you. Right? When you're doing your internal uh physical, I used to call it a, a financial physical, right? You be truthful, be honest with yourself when you're sitting down and doing your finances. Now, you might lie to somebody else, but when you sit down by yourself, ladies and gentlemen, and take full financial responsibility, don't lie to yourself, all right? Keep it a secret, keep it under lock and key, whatever you have to do, but don't lie to yourself. That's the worst thing you can do, especially around finances, all right? So cash flow, take full responsibility, financial responsibility over your cash flow, over your cash flow, right? If this is not where we are, this is where we want to shoot from. Now we, we see, right? Now we have a picture in our minds on how this number game is playing, how the big boys play. And this is fundamental, ladies and gentlemen. This is basic. They're, they're at the PhD and the master's, you know, in, in the graduate's level. And we're down here, out here hustling and grinding and, 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 and you know, all this other kind of stuff. And we don't even understand the 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 uh the the uh the formula if you will we don't understand how it's supposed to go all we know is the income part right i'm going to make some money these are the only two parts we know income and expense cash flow we we cap, we put that in expense no we have to separate we have to separate so now we can have financial targets okay this worst case scenario this is what i have to do uh, for my expenses, my living expenses. Now, I got these lifestyle that are important because I function with them, right? They're part of me making money, I guess, your cell phone, I guess, for realtors, uh, Miss Atlanta, of course, right? That's fine. But we have to understand so you can sit down in the quiet of, of, of your home, so you can sit down 
with yourself and be honest with yourself and say, man, I got to have some cash flow. I don't have any surplus. You know, I want to do these things. I want to buy a franchise that costs 15 grand. I don't have any surplus. I got to at least have something available to put some skin in the game. Now, I'm big on no money down, but it's not to have a poverty mentality. You know, you can't have a no money down ideal or leaning and it's really, you know, motivated, if you will, by having a poverty mentality. See, that won't work. That won't work for you. All right. That won't work for you. So once you have surplus, now you can do these things. You can save. Right. And invest. Get ready for your questions because this is it. Don't want to belabor the point. All right. After you have after you have cash flow, now you can save and invest. Save and invest. But you have to have enough income to cover your expenses to have cash flow so you can save and invest. Not just save. What our, what our four parents did do in segregation and before, brothers and sisters, they were very good at saving. Right? But they weren't good. Many of them, including mine, wasn't good at investing. For whatever the reason, we're not looking for the excuses or reasons. We're dealing with the facts. So what God allowed it to happen was allow for future generations, starting with me, all right, 1964, to be able to go to college so we can learn how to invest. So we can maximize the opportunities, the investment opportunities, and have the intelligence to be able to, to determine what are good investments and what aren't. That was left for me to do, our generation to do, the generation after segregation, brothers and sisters. So that's, that's in truth, that's the, that's the, that's the mission that we have, that's the, that's the, purpose that we have, if you will, you can accept it or not, but God put us in this space and time, so it's only intelligent for us to take the space and time that we've been put in, recognize it, and then live in it instead of living against it, all right? So that's rule number one, rule number one to the money game, don't forget about, it. don't worry about what about, you know, down the street and what about rule number five and what about stocks and bonds there? What about mutual funds? What about annuities? And what about, what about it? What about you and I mastering, mastering in our minds, saturating our minds, removing everything else? And rule number one is taking full financial responsibility. So, brothers and sisters, thank you for your time. Any questions, go ahead and put it. Thank you, Living Sheik, for restreaming. Go ahead and put your questions, put your questions, put your questions down here. Put your questions down here. Put your questions down here. Put your questions down here, all right? Go ahead and share and save. Now, you can watch the replay, all right? Watch the replay. Thank you. Watch the replay. You're welcome. Watch the replay, brothers and sisters, and share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it, all right? Share it, ladies and gentlemen. Share it, brothers and sisters. Share it. Thank you for restreaming Living Sheik. All right, because I'm telling you, if I'm not, if I'm selflessness, selfishness, selfishness, what is, what's the word? <laughs> if I'm selfless, right, selfless, enough to come here every day, right, to prepare with notes every day, right, to be transparent every day, you have to do more than show up, brothers and sisters. You have to do more than show up, see, that, you know, God and the universal, uh, the universal laws, you know, they have laws. And I learned this when I was studying the, the secret and that. See, many times we're not successful. And I'll end on this note because we, we're on time. I end on this note. See, in this society, there's, there's, there's a phrase that goes like this. About to run out, have a great day. You too. Um, there's, a, there's a saying that goes like this in America, Right? Ignorance of the law is no excuse. So we have universal laws and principles that we don't know exist and we violate them every day. And we wonder why life is so hard. We wonder why I'm putting forth this energy and this effort, but it doesn't seem to be working. It's because, brothers and sisters, we are violating universal laws and principles that we, hey, hey, how you doing, brother? Uh, uh, that we don't realize and don't know that we're doing. Right? So it's our job to seek. Scriptures say, seek and ye shall find, knock and the door shall be open. See, that's God saying, that's your job. I put it out here. I'm not going to come sit it at your doorstep. You have to seek. 
I'll have, I'll, I'll have it meet you halfway, but only halfway. It's not coming to your door, all right? But well, you sit around and do nothing. So these universal laws is what we violate ignorantly, and ignorance is no excuse of the law, still a consequence that has to be paid. So I'm saying that to say, right? Saying that to say, you know, when somebody gives, you want to match and beat their giving. That is taught in the book of the Muslims called the Holy Quran, right? Somebody gives you a greeting, you match their greeting and try to give them a better greeting. So if I come here every day and share, right, you want to match it, but then you want to raise it one, right? You want to match it and you want to raise it one. That means you bring somebody. That means you participate fully. That means you interact. If not, when you get out there in business, when you get out there and try to do certain things, right? And we've put, in, we've put you know, the non-active, non-participating vibration out there when it, was a, when it was a reciprocating position. Now we're in the giving position. Thank you, sister, for sharing. Now we're in the giving position and we wonder why it's not coming back. Because we haven't shared enough. Right? We haven't shared enough. We haven't put enough sharing, you know, out there. Right? We haven't put enough sharing out there in the universe. To where now it's time to receive, right? You can't reap what we haven't sown. So I say that, brothers and sisters, to say share, share, share. Constantly share. Right? Don't make your minimum your maximum. Um... Holton Bug said that. Don't make your minimum your maximum. Well, I did that. You hear people say that. Well, I, I did that already, Daryl. I tried that. I did that before. I read that book before. I shared already. Well, share again. Keep on sharing. See how many times you can share on, on Periscope. See how many times you can restream on, 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 on Periscope. Periscope Meerkat, right? See... How many times you can share? All right. Thank you. Whoever that is, that's Arabic. Salamu alaikum. All right. So, see how many times you can say share. Break the system. Break the bank. I mean, you know, it's all about limits. Exceed the limits. How can we play the money game if you're trying to play it safe? Right? Trying to play it safe. We talked about yesterday. And we're going to end right now. We talked about yesterday. Playing to lose instead of playing to win. You're playing to lose by not sharing. You know what it means when you don't share, brothers and sisters? When you mean, when you, when you, when you don't share, it means you believe, right, in lack and you don't believe in abundance. It means that you don't believe that God is, is a limitless God. That's what that means. God knows that's your only dollar. God knows that's your last ten dollars. He knows that. He knows that it's not your last ten dollars. He knows that you're being niggardly. So by holding back on something of greater value than the money that you're holding on to, that you need, that's going to advance you, right, and help you live your purpose in life, Then you restrict your own development and don't even know it. All right. So with that being said, brothers and sisters, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. We'll see you tomorrow for another live stream on the money game. The money game. Let me go. I'm going to go and and get into my 10x and go through it and learn and read everything and and see how this thing goes, brothers and sisters. I'm so excited because I'm putting the pieces together to my financial puzzle. You have to do the same, all right? Till tomorrow, as always, we'll see you at the top, not from the top, because you, your family, but most importantly, your community deserves your very best, all right? And I might pop on a little bit later for my uh, my commentary, all right? I'm going to start doing daily commentaries where I just rat and rave on whatever's going on in the black community around our financial freedom, all right? Thank you so very much, everybody. Take care. God bless.